Well, I think the CBI do very valuable work for us in terms of raising the profile of the creative industries with governments and overseas. And clearly, I mean, it's about sort of protecting our IP in, in, in certain emerging markets, which may have sort of less protection around uh, cultural property. The government, and, and uh, by lobbying from the CBI, really needs to not just take for granted all the success stories, but to encourage new ones and look at uh, venture capital, look at the protection of IP. Because I think uh, there's been a lot of talk and rhetoric, but I think the campaigns the CBI are doing to actually make action is really important. I think that one of the things that's worked really well working with the CBI has been, been able to identify that the creative industries actually are businesses. And I think it's, it's things that actually add and help to uh, the UK PLC. And I think sometimes when the creative industries say that, it has a certain voice. But when actually the CBI stand up, who represent all business, can say actually this is a significant part of the UK economy and uh, it's something that actually we're very good at, we sometimes forget that, um, and actually it is a, a significant contributor to, as I say, to UK PLC, to jobs, to exports. So I think that um, certainly there is a, a big challenges around things like internet and for free, and for any business, when you're trying to compete with for free, you are uh, uh, certainly challenged there. So we very, very much welcome the work with the, uh, with the CBI. One of the areas where I think the CBI has been doing great work is in bringing that attention to areas where perhaps the creative industries haven't had the clout, for example, in the Treasury, in the business department, which are not familiar to a lot of creatives. Um, I also think that the CBI has done a lot, particularly in terms of raising awareness in terms of skills and apprenticeship training uh, in the creative industries, because we export a lot of our personnel around the world. A lot of people start off their life with BBC and ITV and end up working for major Hollywood studios. We want to see some of that money coming back to the UK.